L2. Is it not serious to sin, since only sin against the Spirit damns? If blasphemy against the Holy Spirit exists only in hell, then why is it so serious to sin? We could say to ourselves, God will forgive everything, so let's sin out of weakness. And then too bad if we ignore Christ. Either way, he will provide us with the knowledge of his mystery and therefore the ignorance will be forgiven. This is a miscalculation. In reality, it is true in hell. Only people perfectly in control of themselves, perfectly lucid, remain there. Therefore, they never leave it by their own free will. But it only prevents other sins, especially sins of weakness, which may be fatal, such as cheating on his wife. But also the total ignorance of the mystery of God, as is the case for some pagans and which entices them to indulge in sin because they say to themselves life has no meaning so let's commit sin anyway all of this has the capacity to develop selfishness within the art of man because what makes sin serious is selfishness and its other side pride the exaltation of one's own will result if we sin out of weakness fine but after a while if this selfishness becomes our deep intention then when we arrive at the hour of death and the gospel is ours preached and that christ appears to us when we see that he is only generosity love of god love of neighbor that he is only humility then we are not attracted to him because our art has grown accustomed to a lifetime of selfishness to self-exaltation when on the contrary we are confronted with lucifer who reigns only through this we follow him with enthusiasm we can therefore say that the sins accumulated during our lifetime, whatever the cause in so far as they develop within us a part of selfishness, which can make that at the hour of death facing Christ this time totally freely and in full lucidity, they are transformed into blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. Obviously, there is something else to consider in ignorance and in weakness. It follows that it also causes a discovery of one's own misery. People who sin out of weakness betray, commit mortal sins, but discover the consequences. So, in a sense, these sins have an ambivalence. And that is also why God allows them to do so, sometimes for a while on earth, so that man touching his misery returns to the search for salvation. However, once we realize that the root of selfishness developed by sins, we must do everything in our power to help people get out of this condition.